let us now study about the comparison of two cells with the potentiometer okay so for this we have the potentiometer here top okay so this is a potentiometer wire that is cd is a potentiometer wire and then we have a battery a key a rheostat okay this part is called as a primary circuit primary circuit next what we do now we go this part down okay here what happens you can see c then c is connected to m okay and this there is a gap between m and n okay see what is this this thing is called as a dp dt switch that means dp dt switch that means double pole double throw i'll write this full form double pole double throw dp dt switches that see what we have this with the help of this one okay there will be a rod here okay we can connect the first cell there is a cell here okay we can the first cell or we can the second cell okay so like this way we can the first cell like this way or if you want you can have the second cell also then after that, we have a galvanometer a high resistance and a jockey okay so first what we do we have to include the cell first this is cell one okay we include a cell first first cell and then you move the jockey left and right and find the balancing length okay let the balancing length here be l1 here this is for first cell okay let me write this down so for cell 1 it's for first cell okay the emf here okay the emf em1 is equal to irl we learn the formula now irl okay so instead of that we write as ir l1 i means the current r is the resistance and l is the balancing length okay so what happens is when you connect the first cell okay this battery is voltage okay and this emf will be balancing each other so that the galvanometer will show null deflection okay that means it shows zero so this for cell 1 next what you do after you note down the balancing length for first one you disconnect this first cell on top okay and connect the second cell down like this way okay this is the end okay connect the second cell so let's see now for cell 2 this for second cell okay again the emf here okay emf e2 see second cell will give you emf here okay so that emf will be balanced by this one okay so let's see this now that will be ir l2 okay remember the formula of potentiometer irl okay it's so simple next what you have to do you must compare the emf two cells that means you divide Okay, division is a form of comparison. Okay, so let me write this. So, let me write this equation one and this equation two. Okay, divide one by two. Divide equation one by equation two. So when divide this, what we get here? The first EMF psi one by the second EMF EMF second cell that is psi two is equal to I R L one by I R L two. So what happens is I I cancels, R R cancels. Smaller means what? Resistance per unit length. Okay. So finally we get this equation to be the E M of first cell by the E M of the second cell is equal to L one by L two. Okay. So this is the final equation we get. Okay. It's so simple. So if you know the E M of first cell, okay, or if you want to find the E M of first cell, then what you can do? You can cross multiply E two over here. Okay. You must know E two, L one, L two. Then you can find the E M of the first cell. Okay. Or else you can divide two cells there, which you can know. See, for example, in the lab we usually use a Leclerc cell and Daniel cell. Okay. So Leclerc cell will keep it here. That will give one point five volt. Daniel cell will give one point zero eight volts. Okay. That you can keep down. You can divide one point five by one point zero eight. Okay. That will give us a comparison of E M F. Okay. So to compare E M F, it's just very easy. See, second one, what you must do now, when you keep the second cell, the balancing length here will be L two. It will be slightly different there. Okay, so if you know the two balancing lengths, we can easily compare the two M of two M of two cells. Okay, it's so easy thing only. Okay, just go through the equations. Okay, and then this I said now primary circuit. This part is called the secondary circuit. Okay, secondary circuit. Okay, so just go through the equations. Very very simple only. Thank you for watching.